She was a fighter. When they found her, my sister had scratches on her hands and knees from crawling, from fighting. But there was no one there to save her. She screamed for help, but no one heard her. While she was screaming weeks before. Sarah needed help. But I wasn't there for her. Whoever conceals his transgressions will not prosper. But he who confesses and forsakes them will obtain mercy. Proverbs 28, 13. You ask me? That's a lie. I mean, you can't just recite a passage, say a few Hail Marys, and then wash away your sins. And we shouldn't be able to. But we should be required to carry around our sins for the rest of our years. All the pain and guilt, too. We need to feel them so we can do better next time. So that we can be there the next time someone screams for help. He was honest. Hmm. You believe in absolution? You might not think like that. Yeah, I know. I appreciate you waiting till the service was over. So how are we gonna do this? We're not. Logan Peters deserved what he got. As for the person responsible, well, we're gonna continue our investigation, but it's no longer a top priority. I mean, we'll keep you, keep you posted with any new information, but other than that, I wish you the best. What just happened? should be required to carry this pain. But then don't we get to decide what we do with it? <laughs> <laughs> 